start recording. Excellent. Okay, so hi everybody. Welcome to the TST meeting. Um, almost TST. It's our, uh, I think, first one of the of the new year. So happy new year, everybody. Um, and this morning uh, we're going to get a presentation from uh, Tomas and Abdul Alhim uh, about uh, uh, and as well as demonstration, right? About uh, in adding XMPP as the as southbound to uh, to Onos. And um, with that, I'm going to turn it over to you, Tomas and uh, Abdul Alhim. Okay, so many thanks, uh, uh, Tomas. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, let me present, uh, first of all, uh, Tomas Oshusinki. He's an engineer at Orange Labs uh, in Poland and uh, a master student uh, at the Warsaw University there. So, Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Abdelaim Nondouche from uh, the engineering school OSM Mosidria in France. And uh, as Thomas uh, said, we will present uh, the XMPP as housebound interface. So if you if you can Thomas go to the to the next slide please. Okay, there is a plan. Okay, so we'll overview uh, probably uh, the MLS uh, IPVBN uh, solution based on the uh, XMPP, and uh, we'll present uh, the available implementation um, by OpenContray. And later we will uh, present uh, the XMPP itself, how it works, and the implementation design as southbound interface for Onus, uh, with some demo at, uh, and conclude at the end. Next slide, please. Yes. So, good. So, in fact, uh, in the traditional uh, one network, uh, we know uh, all the uh, LSV VPN solution and uh, the MPLS tunneling uh, to connect, interconnect the different sites or different branch, branch offices of any enterprise uh, network. Uh, the idea is to use the same uh, solution inside the data center or in the intra uh, data center. So the service providers will be able, in fact, uh, um, to make isolation between the tenants at the LS3 level first of all, and provide uh, optimized latency, optimized remote connectivity, the virtualized resources. And uh, what is good is uh, to interconnect in, in transparent way the different branches of a, uh, any tenant with their network or virtual network inside the data center. So um, a, a customer can simultaneously and in a new form, X, uh, has a new form access to the resources uh, in both the uh, service provider network or the data center and the different branches. Uh, so, um, uh, if we look at this figure, so in fact, uh, we have uh, an IETF uh, internet draft. Uh, we put the link here, um, as you see. It explains very well the um, the solution and how it can be implemented. So, uh, Open Contray, uh, supported by Juniper recently, uh, implemented this solution. It's the only SDN, in fact, that um, implements this solution. Uh, however, Open Contray has only the XMPP at southbound interface, and um, it's not well supported, at least in our opinion. It's not a very uh, active uh, project. And uh, myself and Ever Tomek, we faced a lot of problems in its installation and its test uh, at the beginning. Um, we don't have any support to the community. And uh, it's, uh, it's using some obsolete um, libraries, and uh, you have to deal with the compatibility, uh, et cetera. So our idea is to um, bridge the gap and uh, make this solution available with Onus because Onus is, uh, a, at least in our opinion, I, I'm, I'm saying almost, uh, it's more deployed uh, in a real production uh, system and we have a very good support from the community. 
So, for instance, we thanks uh, Andrea Campanella. Uh, he gave at the beginning a very good assistance uh, to Tomek. He explained the general uh, southbound interface uh, abstraction in ONUS uh, before to start the implementation phase. So, in fact, this work uh, started in uh, beginning of uh, June last year. Uh, Tomek has to, uh, to implement uh, some good uh, solution for his uh, uh, master thesis. So I, I um, suggest this subject for him, and uh, he really realized a, uh, a good work. So um, between the, the data plane, uh, between the uh, virtual machines, we have uh, tunnels of MPLS over GRE, for instance, or uh, VXLAN. Uh, and in fact, at, in the compute nodes in the data center, in every physical server, at the level of the um, uh, hypervisor, uh, we need a uh, routing element. Uh, it could be a switch or a router, whatever. So the solution adopted by uh, OpenContray in this picture is from the OpenContray project. Uh, they implement, in fact, the vRouter as explained in the IETF uh, interest draft. Uh, so the communication between the SDN controller and the uh, this uh, vRouter element is via the XMPP, and that encapsulates, in fact, the BGP, for instance, uh, on formation, and uh, can uh, the controller can collect any information from the data plane via XMPP, etc. So we have only really XMPP uh, uh, source interface in this solution. So if we can go to the next slide, please, uh, Omek. Yes, you can see. Yep. Yes, good. So here we, we zoom, in fact, a, uh, a physical server, let's say. So it's a compute node, let's say, um, in an OpenStack uh, project, for instance. We show that we have, let's say, three virtual machines. For every virtual machine, for every tenant, in fact, we have a separate VRF, separated flow tables, uh, separated policies. So uh, really, the VRF uh, makes the forwarding. It's, it represents the forwarding plane, but uh, we implement as well uh, policies, uh, uh, etc. The configuration related to routing, uh, etc. Uh, for the virtual machines it's, itself, um, uh, it's as if it talks with the next step immediately in the BGB system. So in fact, we can we can say that the virtual interface. Uh, associated to a virtual machine uh, represents the uh, customer edge in the traditional solution of the one uh, uh, BGP and VLS, uh, IPVBN solution. And the uh, VRF represents, in fact, the provider edge. And the provider edge will communicate with the controller via X XMPP that do all the uh, BGP calculations, etc., the advertisements, and so on. So in the data plane, as I already mentioned, we have really um, tunnels, over, overlay tunnels by MBLS over GRE or VXLAN, for instance. So if we go to the um, next slide, please, um, Tomek. OK, here is uh, some brief of the um, what I said. So here, in fact, no need to, uh, uh, to any uh, gateway, L2 gateway or L3 gateway. We don't need really that, which is a, a good uh, a good thing. We need, for instance, just the external gateway to interconnect the data center with the other branches, etc. So this is the big image. So we see that we have um, some tenants uh, connected to the virtual router in the physical server. And the routers communicate with the XMP to the controller. And for instance, uh, between the uh, different uh, uh, tenants, we have virtual machines inside the data center or out the data center. But uh, it's really uh, a good solution uh, that gives reliability, uh, isolation, uh, and um, I think um, good performance in a transparent way for the customers. So the next slide, please, Tomek. So, for uh, for the owner's part, um, 
uh, let's say uh, the the work it's uh, implement implementing the XMPP uh, as southbound interface, which is the server part of the XMPP protocol for for sure. And uh, we can use, let's say, the already implemented compute node uh, that supports the vRouter uh, at the um, uh, hypervisor level. In fact, th they implemented that with KVM uh, and uh, using, uh, I think, Ubuntu Linux. Uh, it's it's uh, shown in, in, here at the um, left side. Uh, but as I said previously, it was really tough to implement to um, let's say to install the uh, compute node uh, supported by Juniper or by uh, OpenContray, and the same for installing the controller for OpenContray just to make some tests. So finally, to simplify our uh, our work, we we implemented uh, the XMPP as southbound interface in Onus, but for doing some tests for a virtual lab. Atomic has developed, in fact, a, uh, an emulator of the XMAP agent, or the client side, the vRouter side, uh, which he represented at the right side, if you, if you see. So he will explain later the details. So we have virtual lab. We use uh, OpenV switch uh, with mini net for, uh, for, for, some, for simplifying the, uh, the, the lab. And uh, with this um, emulator of XMAP agent, uh, we can test the implement, right implementation of the XMPP as uh, found interface. So now uh, uh, Tomek will give the uh, details uh, at the high level and we'll uh, show the demo. Tomek, please. Okay, okay. Uh, thanks. So uh, let me introduce the X XMPP protocol first. Uh, so the core of XMPP protocol is uh, described in RFC. Uh, where is uh, basic uh, stream establishment uh, procedure and uh, uh, messages format uh, such as stanzas, uh, uh, XMPP stanza stanzas. And uh, this RFC describes only the core of XMPP, but uh, the communication model and uh, and so, uh, so all the functionality of protocol is uh, des described in uh, XMPP extension protocols, which are published uh, uh, at uh, the XMPP.org uh, site. Mm. And uh, for the uh, for the our use case, we use uh, XMPP publish subscribe extension, uh, uh, which follows uh, the publish subscribe paradigm and is uh, payload agnostic, so uh, we can uh, exchange uh, whatever we want. So uh, it, it may be also the monitoring, uh, monitoring information or configuration exchange in the, in the data center. Um, so uh, this extension uh, defines IQ stanza from client to server. As you can see uh, on the left, there is a exemplary uh, uh, message format. Uh, the header is uh, defined in the top level XML uh, element, uh, and uh, the 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 the, the, um, the message stanza is uh, used from server to client to update uh, information in uh, V routers. So, uh, yeah, it is uh, what uh, XMPP looks like, and uh, the implementation design is as follows. So uh, first of all, I want to to say that uh, we tried to to follow Onos conventions. Uh, so uh, the architecture is uh, layered, and uh, starting from the bottom, we have XMPP controller, which implements um, the basic functionality of XMPP, such as um, TCP connection establishment and uh, uh, and uh, basic stanzas uh, uh, handling, um, and uh, also the stream XMPP establishment. Uh, but to make uh, our implementation extensible, uh, we just um, move uh, the the code uh, that is responsible for uh, handling XMPP um, extension. Uh, we move it to providers layer. Um, to uh, 
uh, to make uh, possible uh, to add a new uh, XMPP extension in future. So um, in providers layer, we have also XMPP device provider, uh, which uh, provides uh, device abstraction for ONOS uh, when uh, the new uh, XMPP client is uh, connected to uh, to ONOS. Uh, so it uh, when uh, it uh, establishes uh, the XMPP stream uh, with ONOS. And uh, and uh, we we are using uh, device uh, the standard device subsystem uh, to store uh, the device objects, but um, in case of our implementation, we also developed uh, uh, the publish subscribe subsystem, um, which uh, which provides uh, the publish subscribe functionality in within Onos. So uh, the Onos application may use um, uh, the the the, uh, the publish subscribe events may uh, may listen to 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 publish subscribe events and react uh, to and parse and information and payload uh, at, at the level of uh, Onos application. So in fact, uh, the Onos application we we are, we are using is uh, is the application we, we have developed. It's called uh, Layer Free VPN Controller, uh, and uh, it uh, it provides the basic functionality of um, BGP MPLS system, which uh, was uh, presented before. And um, as uh, as uh, XMPP publish subscribe uh, protocol is uh, payload agnostic, so we move uh, the um, the parsing uh, mechanism of um, of uh, XMPP to driver subsystem to make uh, a new uh, new payload uh, uh, more possible to 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 make uh, possible to to parse new payloads, not only the, this uh, that are we are implementing implementing. So. Uh, if we want to add a new extension, uh, XMPP extension, we just need to uh, to add a new provider. Uh, but uh, this uh, design may be a little bit changed uh, because of uh, our perspective, uh, perspective uh, uh, to integrate our solution with Gluon. Uh, and the Gluon uh, project uses uh, root subsystem uh, on a score subsystem, so uh, it may be uh, it may be good to to integrate uh, our um, our solution with with the root subsystem. But uh, the core X XMPP implementation uh, is uh, it it really works, and I think it's uh, uh, it's uh, it's very uh, it's very efficient. Uh, it also, uh, I, I'm talking here uh, only about uh, the, the, the the lowest layer, so the X, X, XMP controller, uh, and uh, it also follows the standard uh, ONOS conventions uh, uh, to provide uh, XMPP objects definition. We use uh, external li library; uh, it's called uh, Tinder, and. Uh, for uh, TCP server implementation, we use uh, Netty uh, server, and uh, to parse uh, XML stream, uh, we we use uh, Alto XML library, which is non-blocking asynchronous uh, XML library. Uh, so, um, based on the XMPP implementation, we we develop uh, the proof of concept of BGP MPLS system uh, based on the, uh, it is uh, deployed on a virtual lab using a virtual box, but maybe also deployed using any other hypervisor. Uh, so uh, as Abdul Halim said, we use uh, VRotor emulator, which is implemented in Python and is accessible uh, in my GitHub. Uh, is based on Mininet in, and uses OpenVSwitch to map 
and the high level uh, the high, high level rules uh, carried by XMPP to open uh, open flow rules uh, installed in open v switch uh, so the basic scenario is to uh, create uh, uh, as you can see on the right we have um, we have uh, three virtual machines uh, running in uh, virtual box environment uh, the one virtual uh, the one virtual machine is um, uh, is uh, is uh, on the one virtual machine we have onus controller and uh, and the two, uh, two last uh, virtual machines are acts as uh, compute nodes um, so there are are v router simulator installed uh, so the basic scenario is to create uh, vm uh, virtual machines uh, which are uh, which are which are acts as uh, mainnet hosts uh, and uh, these uh, virtual machines are created on separate uh, servers and uh, the routing information uh, then is exchanged by, uh, exchanged by XMPP to populate uh, routing information in the network and uh, then uh, the, you can see here on the left the, the snapshot of Wireshark where, where the publish uh, message of XMPP is uh, is thrown and uh, you can see the uh, network layer reachability information uh, of uh, of the virtual uh, of the mini mini host and uh, in the first step uh, we made uh, a basic uh, ping command to to check uh, if if the traffic is encapsulated uh, properly so i have a demo i, I want just to uh to show you uh, can you see uh, uh my screen now yes yeah yeah we can nice and clear mm -hmm. okay so uh first of all we are activating uh free uh free applications in onos it's uh, onos uh, xmpp implementation and uh, the driver uh which uh, mm, handles uh, open contrary payload uh, within uh, XMPP uh, message and uh, the honest application which is called the contrary proof of concept and uh, these applications are activated so as you can see we have uh, the second um, the first vrouter uh, we just start uh, the, the vrouter emulator uh, this XMPP stream is uh, established now and the same operation will be done in uh, in the sec on the second v router so now we have a console uh, command line interface here we you have uh, the message exchange um, the basic um, stream uh, establishment process so now uh, v router and honors can talk each other and uh, in the, this step, we uh, we make uh, uh, we create a virtual machine. Uh, so in fact, Minnet host, uh, which will be connected to Blue Network, and uh, the IP address will be assigned to it. As you can see, the XMPP message was uh, was uh, sent to to Onos. and uh, the same operation we we are doing uh, uh, at the second v router but uh, the ip address is uh, different so and here you can see that uh, the new interface has been created in minnet uh, uh, because in result of uh, receiving uh, a message update event notification with uh, with uh, network layer reachability information uh, and sorry okay and here you have um, message exchanged uh, dump dump from Wireshark. Uh, firstly, the v router is uh, subscribing to to to, to network blue and uh, publishing the uh, routing information. 
about a virtual interface which was already created. And uh, the same operation is done for the v router, uh, second v router. And uh, in this step, uh, Onos controller distributes. Uh, okay, see, you, you can see here message uh, message stanza, and uh, Onos distributes this information over the network. So uh, both v routers are aware of uh, remote virtual interface. And he, uh, here we can uh, enter the Mininet console and um, just ping uh, the remote virtual machine. And as you can see, it works. Uh, here in Wireshark, we have a packet stack. And uh, you can see that uh, the traffic has been encapsulated uh, with uh, VXLAN protocol. Uh, using uh, label number 10. And just uh, VMs can communicate each other. So, uh, okay, that's it. Uh, and, uh, okay, the last slide. So, to summarize. Uh, what is the status, the current status? Uh, we have uh, XMPP implementation, which is uh, completed and I think ready to integrate and uses efficient Java libraries such as Netty and Alto XML. Uh, proof of concept has been implemented, but uh, it's, uh, you know, only the proof of concept and uh, it requires some improvements, but uh, we are working progress is to um, evaluate the performance. Uh, as I said, uh, it uh, it may be um, it may be possible to to re-implement uh, providers to uh, make uh, our implementation compliant with fraud subsystem. But uh, the protocols uh, module uh, remains the same. Also. Uh, we should try to integrate uh, uh, our honest controller with compute nodes supporting vRouter, uh, which is provided by uh, Open Contrary project. And also integrating with OpenStack uh, like it is done by uh, Sona project. So in perspective, we have uh, to uh, submit a research paper to conference, which uh, will be and um, in February, I think I I don't uh, uh, I don't know exactly, and uh, we the hope to. to be, the, the, sorry, the deadline is in two weeks. In fact, so uh -huh. we are writing the paper. Now. Yes, yes, okay. Uh, so uh, okay, and uh, I, we hope to integrate our solution with Gluon project to to provide uh, additional value to this project. Uh, and uh, I think it's all. Abduhain, do you want to add something? I would prefer to to receive the questions now, if you want, and uh, the remarks, the comments, and yes. to see how to has this work uh, uh, together. I don't know if some people uh, uh, from the ATS team know or involved in the global project and if uh, they have some uh, recommendation maybe. So it's for you now, uh, Thomas. Okay. No, this is this is great. Uh, thanks a lot for the nice demo and uh, presentation. Uh, so just to paraphrase, just to make sure that I understand things correctly. So you've implemented uh, so a couple of different layers, right? So you have the protocol library where you have the XMPP controller, which is, as you said, ready to be contributed. Uh, based on that, you've also developed the device provider to be able to discover and augment uh, information about devices to feed into uh, Onos Core, correct? Mm -hmm. the, um, the question I had about the pub sub subsystem is, um, is that something, you know, so clearly the implementation rides on top of the XMPP controller, but I'm interested what the to see what the abstraction looks like to the Onos applications. Is that something that's uh, uh, closely tied to the XMPP or is it something that's somewhat divorced from it and provides some high level abstraction that could potentially be backed by other providers? 
Okay, um, I think it's uh, uh, it's generic, but uh, it's not uh, really tied to XMPP. Uh, the abstractions we, which are provided by publish subscribe subsystem is uh, you know the publish event, subscribe event, unsubscribe, retract, and event notification. Great. So the basic uh, publish subscribe uh, um, formats messages. And um, I think uh, after the implementation, it's um, it's not enough to, to it's not enough abstraction for honest application, uh, honestly, because um, uh, even we have uh, this published subscribe subsystem, the honest application um, have to deal with some uh, XMLs uh, and and. Uh, XML payload, in fact. So, uh, so it may be reused uh, after modifications, uh, but uh, I prefer, as I said, to to integrate our work with with uh, you know standard uh, abstractions such as route subsystem or or host subsystem or something else. Okay, okay. That answers one of my questions. So, our second question. Uh, on the pub sub subsystem, is it something that is cluster wide, or meaning that you can actually you can publish um, from one node and then receive on um, um, on any node in the cluster, or is it something that's instance only? Uh, in fact, we didn't test it with uh, in in the cluster environments, so uh, we we don't use a distributed store here. Uh, so I think no so far, no so far. But uh, you, you know, it's um, it's only the the proof of concept uh, in in this layer. I see. Understood. Okay, that, that, that's helpful. Thank you. But it's it's extensible, uh, Thomas. So later we can uh, take into consideration the distributed uh, owners. Oh, uh, yeah. absolutely. I mean, I, I I completely agree. Yeah, I was just curious as to. I was trying to assess where things are and how we will structure them. So, uh, for uh, another if I, in fact, if I, I may add something, uh, uh, I designed it to uh, to distribute uh, the payload which is uh, parsed by honest application. So, uh, if we parse in one instance in the cluster, we parse uh, on uh, XMP payload. And uh, there is a distributed store which stores only the, uh, you know, the object which was parsed by from XML to to Java object. Yeah, and we, well, the thing is, we see similar uh, similar type of division of responsibility uh, in other distributed systems, right? A lot of the distributed primitives that we use in Onos uh, simply just treat the payloads as a series of bytes. And then on top of that, we have layers, uh, basically serializers, deserializers, that are capable of uh, trans transforming those uh, sequences of bytes into the actual objects. And so I don't see it much different from this. Where the difference perhaps may lie is in whether the applications are exposed to, to the objects themselves or to the bytes themselves only. Generally, the uh, generally the the serializers, deserializers are are registered, and then the stores or primitives will kind of automatically deserialize and serialize things as necessary. Um, but it, it's okay. I understand. I understand that this is just a proof of concept of this uh, this portion of the code. Um, yes, but but uh, as I said, the, this. Um... XMPP controller is, uh, I think, uh, uh, really major so so far. So yeah, that's that's great. So, uh, are you planning to? I mean, I understand you have the obligations to uh, to submit the paper and everything um, for the conference. But when do you expect you would be able to submit the code to Onos for review? Uh, do you think uh, the the whole uh, solution or only the XMPV controller, which is uh, the protocols part? I would leave that entirely up to you as to what you have bandwidth for and um, what you feel would be appropriate for the community. Clearly, I would start from the bottom and uh, work 
work your way towards the top. But that's what I so, would, what would be my expectations. But it's entirely up to you. Mm -hmm. So for me, the, the this part, the bottom part is. Uh, uh it's really uh, ready to integrate so for me it will yes, be great I think, I think thomas i think we, we we can submit immediately so uh we put the link to the whole code um, uh, in the wiki page of the project so uh, maybe um we need to submit through uh, get it and make a jira ticket and uh, uh as you can assign to someone to start a review i think yeah you don't necessarily need to <laughs> that yeah, you don't necessarily need this is to... Sorry. No worries, go ahead. Go, 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 please, I finished. Okay, so you don't necessarily need a JIRA ticket, You, you but but submitting code through Garrett so that it can get to the, the review from the community, um, both TST and developers at large, that would be useful. Sure, so, sure. Uh, so I start to submit it uh, in, a few, I don't know, in a few days. If it, if, it, if it is good to you. No, yeah, absolutely. This, this is great. We, in fact, we wanted uh, to present this uh, work to the TST before to really sub the code, because like that, maybe you will be aware of what is it, uh, what, what is done, etc. So. No, it's for, uh, certainly uh, very useful to have the, the outer context, but just to make sure you know that's not always a prerequisite, right? I mean, you can always submit the code and, uh, um, and, and okay. you read it. But of course, it is it is helpful to have the background context to see the big picture that this fits into, for sure. Good. Uh, hey, so is there any other questions? questions from the phone or in the room? Okay. Andrea, in fact, uh, has left, but uh, he's he's a little bit aware of the of the work. So um, we integrate him in the email. So I think uh, he said that he can follow up by email later, but I don't know for the rest. Okay. And uh, do you plan to? Uh, you mentioned the integration with Gluon and. and um... Yes, in fact, uh, we need really the help of the TST uh, for that because we don't know the people uh, involved in the Gluon uh, project. Uh, I know that uh, Jonathan is in, and maybe Brian as well uh, are involved from the uh, ONF part, but from the community part, um, uh, there are some people from Huawei and uh, I forgot maybe from IBM. We, we can see the wiki page. And I don't know if uh, after submitting the code and reviewing it, uh, if it's possible, Thomas, to maybe um, to reach out with the uh, Gluon uh, leader and uh, to see if we can make some uh, some call together and to talk about. C certainly, certainly. I will, um, I'm not sure to what degree Brian is familiar with this, uh, but I will talk to Jono. Yes. So how does this relate to Kafka? So we uh, as a, as a pub sub, you mean? Yeah. So the, so the pub sub here is just one one small portion of it, right? Which is why I was asking well, the question. Case, so it's a general messaging. Uh, framework, right? So the pub sub portion of it is, but the XMPP in general is not necessarily right. Yeah. But so, the, but for the, from an application's viewpoint, from core versus using Kafka, isn't it? Would it be the same? Or core, core well, so this is precisely why I was asking whether the pub sub abstractions are tied. To. We didn't hear, sorry, I didn't hear very well the... Yes, me too. So, so Bill, Bill was asking how this is related to, for example, Kafka or, um, or RabbitMQ or something like that, some other pub sub uh, messaging. And but are you asking in terms of uh, softbound interface or uh, in terms of uh, internal communication of phones? Because uh, I, th I think, if I correct me if I'm wrong, Bill, but you you were mostly asking from use of point of use of application, right? Yeah. Uh, how so? So that was precisely the this is kind of the same motivation was behind my question regarding the pub sub subsystem abstractions. Um, whether they're specific to XMPP or whether they're generic, because we do have existing integrations with uh, uh, with Kafka and with uh, uh, RabbitMQ, 
which allow um, ONOS applications to both emit and consume messages. Um, but I actually don't recall specifically what the abstraction is for doing that. Okay. So, so, on so, okay. so mm -hmm. it seems like if we, if ONOS, you know, in, in order for ONOS to support uh, integrations with other messaging platforms, um, even though the messaging pops up maybe only sliver of what this is about, um, it seems like um, uh, we should have a common abstraction and behind that abstraction could be uh, basically various adapters that allow you to integrate or hook to the different messaging uh, bus buses. That, that was yeah, kind of my, uh, my motivation and I presume that's also motivated your question. So I don't know without... Uh, okay. okay, so can I answer? Yes. Uh, uh, so uh, honestly, I wasn't aware of uh, of consumer producer uh, subsystem which uh, which you set about. Uh, so it may be valuable valuable to um, to recheck uh, my implementation, my subsystem, because uh, maybe I I made some overhead here. Uh, but uh, yes, skip this uh, Bob sub subsystem, I think. If uh, if we can uh, take a genetic abstraction, we don't need to that uh, subsystem is the core of ONOS and the integration will be easier. This is, I think, the the main point of Peel and Thomas. Yes, yes, and and to Thomas's point uh, here, uh, it's I'm not actually not. I know that we have those uh, integrations today, but I'm not familiar in depth. To be able to let you know that there is a fitting abstraction that would meet your needs i know at least that like with rabbit mq the integration is fairly specific in the sense that there are built-in um, adapters for simply just broadcasting uh, on various honest topology events outwards uh, and and it's fairly specific uh, to those uh, topology events and i don't think there is a, a kind of a general service interface through which applications could broadcast general messages. So it, it may very well be that uh, that yours is the most generic one. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily go through rework. I, I would simply just uh, contribute the code that you think needs to be contributed. And I think we could probably take a look at uh, consolidating the various uh, pub sub uh, mechanisms under one umbrella later. Good, yes, okay. It's a clear for me. Uh, do you have other questions, Tomek, or uh, I think the point is clear now? Yes, it's, it's clear for me. So our first step is to submit the code and later we will maybe have another good uh, discussion. That sounds good. Well, thank you so much. This is, this is great. And also let me know how the um, I'll talk to John about uh, about maybe from, see if he can find a representative from Gluon for you guys to work with. But I personally don't have any um, such relationship or, or knowledge of actually who would be the person to talk to. But I can see if John would know. I think uh, after that we submit the code and uh, we have the review. Uh, I think we can maybe contact uh, Jonathan or maybe Brian because I saw their name in in the project. And I think some of them are the mentor uh, from the ONF part. Okay, sounds good. Unfortunately, neither of them could attend today because of other commitments, but uh, and because okay. of the, the time slot from the usual afternoon time slot. So, um, but they should be able to view this, and I can talk to them. Great. Many thanks, uh, Bill, Thomas, uh, and uh, everyone. Thanks to Andrea as well. Okay, well, thank, thank you. Thanks, Tomek, as well. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for what you do. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye.